Welcome back to the vlog guys. Excuse the noise in the background, but before today's video starts, don't forget we've got our merch. Nice new tan t-shirts, black. We've got the tan hoodies, we've got the black hoodies with the sleeve writing. Beautiful. This will make you buff better if you buff. You will wash your car better as soon as you put this shirt on. It's not a fact, it's a theory. That's it. But then hold us to it. And if you go out, you're gonna pick up, mate, with that, with that clothes on. Um, we've got the tan hoodies somewhere, but they're identical, just no sleeve print, um, and we're just all black logo. Yeah, so Crewnex, we've got Crewnex. If you don't like hoodies, you don't like pockets, we'll hook you up with our Crewnex. Comfy, cool, yeah, done, done. And these are, these are warm as, like right now it's, well, it says it's 15 degrees in here, but I think it's colder, and we are warm as. So, um, down below I'll put a link. You can grab all our merch. Two things we're going to talk about. Firstly, what's happening today? Today we got two black Mercs. We got a GLC 63S and a E63. Is it S or E63? So these are both going full paint corrections and ceramic coatings. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about is the GR. So you might have seen on our Instagram, one is getting sold. Yep. What's so, happening? So it's still the GR. Uh, we put an order down for a i30N, or some people say performance, but yeah, it's the performance um, premium, premium DCT. So top of the yeah, top of the notch DCT. It looks interesting. It looks fun. It's got four doors, which is good for the family. So that's the only reason I've been selling because everyone's been sending me sending messages saying, "Why are you selling the car? Why are you selling the car? It's good." Even the sales guy, when we rang him and uh, put the order down. And I said to him, yeah, I'm going to sell my GR. And he goes, what? Your GR? <laughs> I said, yeah, okay, long story. But yeah, so it's more convenient. Um, it seems fun. So we're going to give that one a go. So the GR's for sale. If anyone's interested, contact us. Um, we'll do a good price. And everyone knows the effort we've put into that car to get it to a top finish with ceramic coating everything. And we look after our things as well. So let us know about that. And yeah, we're going to try to get these two done in three days. So that's our goal, which we've done it before and we can do it. So it's a two stage paint correction. Uh, some panels I had to do a three stage and wet sand some little spots. Um, this one here, once again, so this is the back's been painted again, so we're going to fix that up. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been washed incorrectly. Uh, the scratches and sores are pretty bad. So guys, please, when you're washing your car, if it's coated or not, just do the proper procedures because it's just going to cost you in the long run. Um, as we just showed you on this quarter alone. Um, and mind you, like ceramic coating is going to help, but it's not bulletproof, especially if 
wrong methods are used and you're using you know an, an old contaminated sponge yeah. or cloth or whatever like that's that's just careless washing that's, that's careless washing yeah that's just crazy you don't you don't get that happening by yeah. using new cloths that's why yeah we've old had, cloths dropping them that's right we've had some of our clients that we've shown them the proper procedure um they're washing their own car after we've coated it you know and three to four years later the car looks like pretty much as still it, stuff. Yeah, it looks like this one it looks pristine still that's what you want. And in, in regards to Rob's uh, GR being sold, we had a ton of guesses on Instagram. We put a poll up. So, a fair few i30Ns. RS3, nice, but too <laughs> yeah, expensive. Right, come on. <laughs> uh, GR Corolla, it's not out yet, so maybe one day. Civic Type R, eh. See, I'd, I'd, look, I'd go um, Civic Type R, yes, RS3. I like them, but I don't like. Yeah, it's love, love, hate. Love, hate. What else we got? Uh, GTI and Golf R. They're nice, Golf, but they're too expensive Golf now. R. The new ones, yeah. like 70, 80 grand. Yeah, but it's not like it's. Some know. people might be saying, "Oh, it's only a Hyundai you're getting," but. Yeah. Uh, what have we got? M one forty i Beamer. Not a Beamer fan, are we? Not Never really liked them. Nah. A forty five. Too many Orlegs. Nah. What else we got here? Any uh, Focus? Yeah, no? Ford Focus RS here, yeah. Benjamin. And, uh, uh, maybe five years ago I would have said no way in the world. Now I'd say maybe. Yeah. And what else we got? Yeah, they're all the same. i30N was a, was a um, favourite. Hyundai, you can't beat it. Yeah. Warranty. What's it got? Seven year, Seven uh, year limited warranty. kilometre warranty. Yeah. Uh, cap servicing. Um, sounds good from factory. Sounds good from factory. Don't have to put an exhaust on it. because. She's been busting nuts about putting exhaust. <laughs> this one has to do no exhaust. And four doors. Four doors. And what else? Apparently, it's warranted on track. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I30N is. Yeah. And um, and the big seller is the end lights up on the seat. Yes. Come on, you gotta um, have that. If you haven't seen it yet, guys, the new I30N when you get the premium. Let's just use this as an example. Say that says the end line that lights up at night. That's, it might be a little bit of. Toss factor, but yeah. <laughs> it's nice. It's got the moonroof. At least you can um, see in the back, you can see the passengers there. Yeah, that's it. It's got the moonroof. Yeah, moonroof. Um, and the tech inside, you just can't compare it to the GR. Like, yeah, it's got a bit more tech. Look, it's, it's the tech. GR was never built for tech. I'm pretty sure. Nah, that's right. Built, you know, on a but, budget, um, but still to be fun. Yeah, look, uh, GR, I loved it. I still do love it, and you know, if I could, if I had the room in that, I'd probably keep it. Um, but yeah, but practicality wise, practicality, um, you know, they really went cheap on the tyres. Yeah, you know, you gotta save money somewhere. Better rubber on my kids' eraser. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's right, I'm still keeping mine, I'm still gonna drive it like I stole it. So, uh, there'll still be a GR on the channel, and we're gonna have to do a few uh, races together. Rob, we're trying to, um, we're trying to, it's, it's, a, it's a long shot, but we're trying to organize uh, a runway strip where we can do a run GR versus I30 N. Yeah, I30N. That'd be sick. And then maybe we'll throw the sprint in there for a laugh. And give it, you know, a 20 second head start or something. We got mum's golf far, we can give that a go too. Yeah, no worries. That's right. Then we can just ask a few customers if they want to bring their cars down. Anyway, who knows? The options are endless. But for now, we're going to finish this. Just about ready to be coated. Look at that. Gorgeous. And then we'll start on this one. All right, quick uh, quick preview of what um, corrected paint looks like. So you've got that beautiful metallic, no swells, no wash marks, no spider webbing, any of that. And this is what it should look like. Bad washing techniques, not pre-cleaning the car before washing it, all that good stuff. So that's just horrible, look at that. And it's all over, it's not just, you know, on one panel or anything. Compared to say that, absolutely gorgeous. This had a full two stage correction, some parts were actually three stage, and then ceramic coating just finished. This one doesn't even look black, it almost looks, well in the camera it looks black, but in real life it's got like a grey haze through it. Where when you look at this, it's just deep black. But, it's our job to fix up these nasty paintworks. That's all done, look at it. 
Perfect.